as quick as I came from heaven, I went straight into hell. Now, hell was a three-bed council house, and it was a shit pit. You know what I mean? It wasn't the best of house. You know what I mean? And I, I, went, I went with people who were just vulgar. Um, within about a week of being back home, uh, I didn't know what really what was going on. I got pulled out of bed one night. I was eight years old, and um, I got took downstairs, and I got asked to take my trousers, like jammy bottoms off with me underpants, and bent over to make sure my backside was clean. Sorry, like you know, to make mm. sure it was clean. And um, then with next door, I heard like a knock on the wall, and he said, "You got to go in next door." And I went in next door, and there was um, about four or five people in there. And the the mother, like uh, the, the the dad, he called me in, and um, I went in the house. He called me in. They put me on the carpet. I had to get undressed, and the mum put me her head on my lap, and she kept rubbing my hair. And then all of a sudden, I just felt like a big jolt, mm. and the dad was forcing himself into my butt passage. So and I, I didn't know what was going on. I kind of like you know, we mm. kind of screamed, and she kept telling me like shh. And telling me it was all going to be all right, and got um, raped by about three people on the first time, and uh, it, you know, I didn't know what was going on. You know, I've never had it before in my entire life. I got these people taking it in turns. Um, just it was just you know it was just it was just a, a horrible feeling. I didn't I've never witnessed this in my life. Mm. Then you had different people, just like three people, but just entering your backside and finishing, and it kept, it was horrible. It felt like, you know, I've never said this before, but it just, I didn't know what was going on. Obviously, I, as I got older, I realised they were ejaculating in my backside. Cause it always felt like horrible and wet, and I felt, or, you know, mm. it was just really, really painful. But then that, I got sent home, like, to give me some money, to give me, like, £12. And I got sent home, like, round the corner, I go next door, in a lot of pain, my back passage was bleeding. Um, and I gave my parents the money, and they'd gone off and got her two corned beef pasties, bottle of cider, four yes. cans of lager, packet of silk cuts, because you don't forget that. And I got sent to bed. My parents. What, that all happened for, like, £12? Sometimes it'd be £8. Oh sometimes my God. it'd be £10. They were p- so they were pimping out to all the next-door neighbours? Uh, yeah, and everybody else that they would pay. How? Oh, I mean... Where do, where do we start with all that? I mean, So, I'll take you back to the beginning. So, that's, this is coming like, you know, that, I, I went in next doors. Um, I went in about... <sighs> twice a week. Sometimes once, sometimes twice. And sometimes mum and dad would bring people home from the community centre, like men and stuff, and I'd get called downstairs. Um, there'd be men around, and they would... I'll have to do things to them, you know what I mean? It's going to sound rude, like, you know, but I was taught to, like, masturbate men and stuff, yeah. you know what I mean? I ain't got a problem what people think. It's the truth, yeah. and they don't like it. It's tough. Switch off. Yeah. Um, I got taught what to do to men, and, you know, men would always do stuff to me, like, you know, I had no say in the matter. And, um, yeah, it was just... You know, just sorry. It was just horrible times, so, John. You, you know, can swear, I, you can say whatever you want. Yeah, no, no. It's just, it's just a horrible thing. It's a horrible place to be. Mm. You know, um, it, it just, it didn't get any better. And the, the, I was pimped out about, I'd say, about three times a week, <sighs> every week, literally pimped out. I'd have to come downstairs and watch like, look like a fucking sex show in the house. I never had a clue what was going on. I never had a clue, you know, I was an eight-year-old kid, you know, I just knew that, obviously, whatever I was doing was getting mum and dad money, 